What up, peeps? We are back. ESBC dropped a February development update. We are here to break it down. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead and start with the gameplay update. I quote, over the last two months, we have been upgrading the combat system in ESBC. As we mentioned in our December statement, this was an area that was being worked on due to the high standard and expectations we have for Esports Boxing Club. We're delighted to announce that the new system has been implemented. This was a major milestone for us. Simply put, the flow of the combat needed to match our revolutionary footwork system. This was great news. I know there has been a little bit of critiques about how the punching was looking in the trailer. Given, I mean, it's an alpha movement trailer, so there wasn't a ton of punches thrown to, to really be able to judge. But the little punches that were thrown, people were kind of critiquing a little bit, so it's understandable, and they went ahead and tightened this up. And that's what I'm looking forward to the most. I want to see the combat. More importantly, I want to hear the punches. So this is really good information. Now they also mentioned a roster update. I quote, ESBC already features the largest roster ever assembled in a licensed boxing game. However, we are continually adding to our pipeline. With this in mind, we are incredibly excited to confirm that we have signed some of the biggest stars currently in the sport. Announcements will be made in the coming months. That's not all. We will be announcing six legends that will feature in ESBC starting from Thursday, February 18th. And we will be announcing one per day across our social media, so stay tuned. Oh snap. This is really, really good information. Let's break down the top of this. They've already established that they're assembling the largest roster in a licensed boxing game. And they're stating we want the biggest and the best fighters out there. And they are confirming in this statement that we have signed some of the biggest stars currently in the sport. We just don't have that announcement yet. Oh my goodness, who could it be? What do you guys think? Who could they have signed? right now they've got them locked in which fighters are signed that are the biggest and best fighters out there currently could they have signed canelo could that have happened what about anthony joshua what about tyson fury we're talking about biggest and best stars terence crawford errol spence i mean the list goes on could there be a conflict with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua because they're both in UFC 4? You know, not sure we could add them to that list. What do you guys think? This could really turn the table and start really getting a lot of buzz because this game's starting to catch fire. So more fighters are, are starting to be aware and I think more people are jumping aboard. Now, out of the six legend announcements, they've already announced two and I will go over them at the end of this video. So let's get into the character creator feedback. I quote, once again, we are blown away by the amazing response we got from you, the community. We would like to reiterate that everything being shown so far isn't final. So aspects like hair, beards, tattoos, and other items are in the plans for our full version 1.0 release. And I think we kind of knew that. I mean, they as, as they were going through the character creator in the video, I mean, he explained that everything wasn't implemented. And the big thing, you know, we want to see the hair. I mean, let's just keep it real. We want to see the hair. We want to see the, the facial hair, beards, things like tattoos. Yeah, those are cool. But we, we really wanted to see the hair um, and just other aspects in the character creator. Outside of the hair, I would definitely say the body size as well. We really couldn't get a look at like the heavyweights or even lighter weight classes because all the scaling and, and things weren't implemented yet. I'm glad they reiterated so now everything's clear. What we saw was not final. Brands and partnership, I quote, in addition to the major licenses we already have, we're delighted to announce new partnerships with Cleto Reyes and Rival Boxing Gear to feature an esports boxing club. We are truly committed to bringing you the most authentic boxing experience, which is why we're not stopping there. We're excited to announce our partnership with BoxRec. The implementation of BoxRec will bring you closer to achieving our goal of creating the most realistic boxing game ever. That's not all. 
We are now in talks with the biggest boxing organizations and management companies in the world. While we can't go into detail at this stage, we are confident they will truly enhance the experience of being involved in the mega fights within ESBC and enhancing the authenticity of the fight game. Yes, we are getting more licensed gear. That's great. Cleto Reyes and Rival Boxing Gear. This is going to be so dope. I would like for them to get Grant, Lonsdale, Rival, Adidas, Reebok. I mean, hopefully they can license some more brands. It'll just enhance the experience. This is a great start. And this partnership with BoxRec is very interesting. I wonder how this is going to be implemented. Is this something that's going to be implemented in game? You know, BoxRec is, is a huge repository of boxer information. I mean, you have the records, you have upcoming fights. This last paragraph, wow. I mean, we are in talks with the biggest boxing organizations and management companies in the world. We already know about the WBC. They've already got a partnership with them. I mean, are they looking at the other organizations like the WBO? Because the more organizations, and if they're going for realism, if they want to add all the organizations and think about unifying the belts, WBC, IBF, WBO, whatever organization talking about unifying, a unified champion in the game, undisputed. Okay, WBC championships. I quote, we are in the process of creating a worldwide structure with boxing federations to create regional champions with one final televised champion tournament taking place. The winners will be walking away with the physical ESBC WBC world title belt. And as they stated, with one final televised champion tournament. Imagine this on ESPN. People tuning in watching this championship tournament take place in ESBC. That's great. Now let's get into the launch plans. I quote, to the many of fans who have been following us from day one, you already know how the studio and ESBC has grown over the last nine months with each major deal, fighter, and brand that comes into Esports Boxing Club. It continually increases the size, scope, and expectation of the game. We are committed to launching into early access on Steam in the coming months and we'll be providing a launch window in our March update. So the studio is just getting, it's getting crazy right now. They're getting so many deals done as far as the, the fighters, the brands. I mean, this game's just blowing up. I mean, they're, they're really trying to make a authentic boxing game. I can definitely understand. I feel like they want to launch this game now, but there's so many little things that they're like, man, we could squeeze this in, squeeze that in. So it's probably, you know, causing a little bit of strain, but this is promising. I feel like this game's going to release soon. Uh, they say in the coming months, so we'll just have to stay posted. Hopefully we get more updates. And as they mentioned, it sounds like these development updates are going to be monthly, hopefully, cross our fingers. So let's see what we hear in March. The gameplay trailer. Yes. Yeah. So I quote, after the incredible reception of the alpha movement trailer we launched in November, we realized that this increased the anticipation of our new trailer massively. Now we have upgraded our combat mechanics. We will be launching our gameplay trailer soon, but also when it's ready. Okay, I cannot wait to see the combat mechanics, and I think that's the most anticipated. Uh, the movement trailer was awesome, because it showed you the footwork, it showed how fluent it was, and, and just how uh, the fighters move. It looked realistic. Can they pull the same thing off with the combat mechanics? It's going to be very tricky, and I know it's not easy, especially for these combat games. Um, cannot wait to see more. And lastly, the community. I quote, finally, like all anticipated games, we realize the hype and speculation can take over the original goal of the studio. And with this being a boxing game, it's safe to say after a decade long wait for a fully licensed boxing title, we can understand the frustration and urgency behind some of you wanting us to release ESBC immediately. Please note that we won't rush into the release. And while the majority understand this, to the few who are frustrated at there not being a boxing game, we've got your backs. 
But just know that it's not Steel City Interactive's doing, that there hasn't been a licensed boxing game in a decade. We're doing this for the love of the sport. And this is totally understandable. I mean, we haven't had a, a simulation boxing game in a decade. Licensing all the fighters and the, and the gear, the organizations. I mean, all of this stuff is very time consuming. So, you know, we get it. There might be a little frustration because they were supposed to release in December, but I mean, a delay is not a bad thing. They're working hard on this game. So we're just gonna sit back and, and just keep getting these updates and until it's time to release. They also go on to thank the community and we appreciate that love because we are out here covering this game and we want to see it do well. Now let's get into the legends and there were three out of the six legends announced and that started on February 18th. And come on now, I mean this first legend, Sugar Ray Robinson, are you serious? Mine is blown. I mean I thought they were gonna build up <laughs> to maybe someone like Sugar Ray Robinson, but right out the gate, he gets Sugar Ray Robinson. I mean, Sugar Ray Robinson is known as pound for pound, maybe the best fighter ever. I mean, you're talking about a guy who fought lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, 72 and a half inch reach, boxing record, a total of 200 fights, 176 wins, 109 of those by KO. I mean, come on now. 19 losses, six draws, and two no contests. And you're telling me we get to control Sugar Ray Robinson in the ring in ESBC? I am beyond hype for this. They came out the gate guns blazing. The next legend is also a banger. And we're talking about Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, heavyweight. Six foot two, 76 inch reach. A record of 69 fights. Out of those 69 fights, 66 wins. 52 of them by KO. Only three losses, man. Adding him to the roster, man, I can't wait to see him in action. And adding to that heavyweight roster, we're gonna add Jack Dempsey? Are you serious? The heavyweight division in ESBC is already on fire. This guy fought at light heavyweight, heavyweight, six foot one, 73 inch reach, a record of 85 fights, 68 wins, 53 by KO, six losses, 11 draws. And these are just the first three legends they've announced. There are three more and we're gonna keep you up to date as soon as they're released. This is already highly impressive. Uh, locking down these legends. I can't wait to see the other three. Who do you guys think the other three are? I have to believe that Ali might be in this list. I, I just have a strange feeling that Ali is gonna be in this game. Cross your fingers. All right, peeps, we will let you know when the other legends are released as well as let you know and keep you aware of any other ESBC updates. We will be keeping a close eye on this game towards its release. And that's it, peeps. And you know what it is. Until next time, Gio.